Hi everyone, this is Cass from Boom Gel Stain and Cass's Creations. I just wanted to do a really quick video on these Christmas baubles. So these are like flattened almost. I don't know the name of the shape. There's something inside there, but anyway. Um, so they're not the circle, they're a flattened circle. Well, I don't know. There is a name for this shape. I just don't know it right now. It's gone out of my brain. Okay, so these I got... Um, so I'm based in Australia and these I got for a dollar fifty or a dollar something like that and they're plastic so usually I'd give them a wipe down with alcohol or a hot soapy wash but I haven't so I'm just going to dust it on my trusty shirt and hope for the best and like I said this is just a quick a quick one okay so this is um now I don't know how to do the backs yet. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the backs. So I've got some that I've done previously, which I've forgotten to bring out. Um, but I will get them soon. Um, and they've turned out really pretty. Their cells stretch right out and they just are just beautiful, I think. Um, but the backs do need finishing. So now I'm thinking I might just do them in a solid colour on the back. I'm really not sure. So still um, work in progress. Okay, that's our sterling wax white. This is our Mulga Parrot. Nope, sorry, our Mally Ringneck Blue. Gosh, what was I thinking? Um, this is, what have I got here? Pearlescent Pearl. Bungara Brown, one of my favourite colours. So this is, we've got an opacity chart on the Facebook group. In the file section and this is our Aztec gold mica um, mixed with some of our clear flow and then in here I have Willy Wagtail black with a couple of drops of Boom Booster so I've got to be quick all right so I line my colors up so that I've got them all ready and in the right order so that I can add them and then just blow all right so straight down goodness and that's it I'm not going to do anything we're going to just let this stretch out on its own so see here I've run I really do need some more product there so what I might just do I'm just going to add some of my Mally along there and then it will just flow down there naturally okay oh this is so let me I'm gonna see if I can show you guys a bit closer now they aren't going to stay like that because of the shape um, it is going to stretch out and come down all on its own um, which would happen regardless of what product you use it's just the nature of gravity of course so oh my gosh so these will look quite different if this was a flat surface say my canvas of course it's going to stay like that um, but for today's purpose, this is what we're going for. We're going to get this stretched out look. How good are those colours together? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more Melly here. I'm almost hoping this will stop it from flowing quite as much because I really do like that. But I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so with my previous ones, I've just left them to dry, basically. Um, nothing fancy, just left them laying like that and they've stretched out and done their thing wow okay so see oh, you can't see underneath but so we've got all these drips and runs i was just laying it down and leaving it um i think the probably the best thing to do would actually be to sit it on a little cup during the drying process and um, I wasn't thinking and just left it on like a piece of glad bake, which was fine, but then I ended up with this stodgy mess underneath. So I won't do that this time. And then I'll go back and fix up my back, but I'll probably just go a solid colour like the Mally or something. Oh my goodness, that is just gorgeous. Okay, so I'll post dry pics of this. So now this is going to sit somewhere. And I'll actually get photos of the other ones that I've done. 
and I'll add them once I've stopped talking. Okay, guys. Oh, I might just see if I can. There we go. Isn't that cool? So they are going to stretch out. They're not going to stay in that shape. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye. So here's the dry result and it's dried really nicely as you can see. So we've still got some of those center cells that didn't stretch out all the way and you can see the ones that did. Now this is Mally which is actually more of a turquoise green but it's showing up a really blue color in the camera but you get the idea it's so pretty. So dried beautifully and like I said the back I can't pick it up but it's got some drips and runs so I think that I'll just finish them in the one colour. Perhaps just Mally or black on the back. Okay, bye.